What's up everyone, Brian with you from the game coming and we are playing some more Galactic Civilization 4 continuing here with our uh, campaign here as the Terran Alliance and I mean things are going well, we're at 54% so we're over halfway to victory and I think we're ticking up there quicker than it, like I, I don't think it's going to take another 20 episodes to win, but who knows, who knows, it's not like I've actually won the game before, so we'll see. Uh, sees good success, okay cool, um, we are getting ready for a war here but I'm not super like, there's no rush in it right now so we're just gonna do it whenever we feel like we want to go ahead and go uh new austin all right so you're at 39 production you're pretty dang good we should go ahead and upgrade all of the stuff here the question is whether or not i want to do something first like i mean we have the geranium and stuff like that so i kind of feel like maybe we want to grab that hmm how's our housing 8 to 12 you give me a planetary solar soil upgrade and i think i want to go with just the geranium mine here and then we could put um a couple other stuff around it if we want, but yeah, we'll start there, and then let's sit next turn and see where we're at. Not entirely sure. Yeah, we have a couple fleets available, which is, yeah, because you guys are chasing the dragon fighters, which actually moved this way now. <laughs> or they kind of went down here. They might have come down here into the um, hidden area. So do we have a governor here? We do not. We probably want to throw one here, right? The uh, lack of growth kind of sucks, though. Which is funny because it's like extra population gap, but you suck when it comes to growth, which is like, oh, all right, because right, well, corporate sector, I'm pretty sure it's, no, no, I do have a governor on it, okay, never mind, I mean, I saw the two as the population, but I didn't think we actually had a governor there, maybe we should put some ships there just to protect it, but yeah, I'm not super worried about that, uh, the thing is, too, we're also waiting at this point for our... Co uh, construction ships to get on the jump points. So that's kind of the other thing we're currently waiting on right now. All right, so then this is New Athens. This isn't New Austin. We have a bunch of stuff we need to do here as well. You have a lot of population right now. So with that being said, I'm just going to go ahead and bump up probably all the upgrades. Yeah. Let's do that for now, and then in like 50 turns, we'll come back and see where we're at. So that should be fine for now. This is Camino, which is running out of landmass as well. We could bump up the housing. We don't necessarily need to bump up the housing. We got an extra, uh, we got the fusion power plant, which is manufacturing and research, which is nice. Except there's not really a good spot for it. Unless I replace you. Can I replace? I can delete it. This gives two to manufacturing, which would be the exact same as this, but we would get additional towards research, which I kind of like. The other, yeah, you know what? I think I'm going to go ahead and destroy the improvement and then go ahead and do the, um, do the fusion power plant. Now, what's the building I delete? Do I just like, is it just gone then? Kind of feels like it might be. Uh, can I be built on desert or mountains? This is one per player. This is just plus two to all adjacency bonus, which is not bad. Gives you extra culture, uh, cooperation, culture points. Oh, it gives you a free uh, culture point. Interesting. Hey, Earth. I know you're kind of like out of tiles, but wondering if I could maybe throw that somewhere for something. Hmm. Like maybe we ditch you and build it there instead. What are we actually doing here? Oh yeah, we're growing um, pop. Hmm. The other thing, maybe we get rid of one of the foods, but I don't think that would be worth it. I mean, obviously I'm like, can we just like get rid of you? <laughs> the bear tech grove? It's one per player and it's extra 50% food. That one seems probably worth it. Yeah, you know what? I'm probably just going to end up building another planet then. We do want the culture points though, 100%. So, fusion power plant, we will throw here, or we'll do the geranium here, because we'll probably do the fusion, like, here, I'm guessing. So, we'll see how we look in a couple turns, then. Another planet here, this is, um, Abdurin 1, which, let's see, construct shipyard, hatch clone, probably pop out the shipyard. You know, I still haven't seen the update on this. Yeah, the one that was supposed to like cheapen the cost of shipyards. Maybe it came out and I just missed it. Maybe it did. Honestly, maybe it came out. I should look at the forums, but I forgot about it. But what it might have happened is it might have come out when I was like too busy. Wait, what? Where are you going, by the way? Oh, 
interesting. So you're actually, I clicked it and you're actually going all the way over there. That's fine. I'll actually put the thing there then. Yeah, I'll put it on that side. Uh, but um, point being, it might have come out like I might have like had uh, Epic open in the background like one day after I was recording. Maybe it uploaded or updated. So get extra asteroid mines. Point one. Eh. Quality of our worlds gives us organ markets. Yeah. This gives us potentially land preservation. So we're basically at the point where there's not really anything fun left. We can get better lasers. Actually, yeah, that's just that's uh, um, something that increases your uh, laser attack. I think I'm gonna go ahead and grab the atmospheric scrubbers. Corporate sector, no, I'm not declaring war. Sorry, sorry. So we can get a colony ship or harmony awareness. I will take the harmony awareness because why do I want a colony ship at this point in the game? Yeah, I still kind of wish there was more space to be discovered. It's just like we discovered it so early and now it's like, oh, well, it's not really the final frontier anymore now, is it? <laughs> we're just kind of, we're just existing now. Uh, you're supposed to come through here, I'm pretty sure. Because I think there were the big fleets over here we were going to go kill. I want the constructors done before I actually ended up launching the invasion was the play. Uh, do we need, and the answer is yes. We're going to need some dropships, aren't we? Me, I don't really want the dropships, but eh, that's fine. We'll have to like protect them, so that's gonna be one thing we'll have to keep an eye on. Luckily, we have like 15 that we you know kept forgetting about or accidentally building, so and by 15, we don't have that many, but you know, hey, we have one. Oh, god, too far, too far. So you go out, but transport launch. I want the transport to launch. Yeah, there we go. Uh, and sure, so you still actually have a citizen on board, which is hilarious. Uh, fleet. We do have another transport here. I think we have to do it here. This is New Austin. Okay. Not really where I want one, but that's okay. And then, is that it? Heavy survey, freighter, 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 constructor, constructor. Transport. We have two more. Wait. Oh, wait. Those are our fleets now. Gotcha. Never mind. So yeah, let's let's go ahead and fleet them together for now, and then we'll see where we're gonna end up after that. Um, we could potentially throw them with our fleet here because these guys have plenty of logistics right now. I just don't necessarily want them being in the fight. Like I would rather them not be anywhere close to the fight because if they're potentially in the fight, they might actually die. So this is plus two to all. Just throw it here and be done with it, or. Yeah, I'm just going to throw it there and be done with it. Where is this, by the way? Thebes. Production, 34. Not bad. And then you know what? Go ahead and upgrade everything. Probably could use some food here. Probably. Then, you're suggesting population, military, extra control per turn. Eh. New Austin. We did finish this. I think I'm going to go ahead and grab you. And I think I'm going to go throw the fusion power plant here. Because it's also going to bump up the manufacturing and the research. And then we can build another research building here, I think. Probably the play. Uh, I don't really know what to do here. I guess we're just going to keep upgrading you. Because it's going to take a while. And I'll be honest, I don't really want to do anything else there. So you finish the shipyard. Okay. Then let's go pop out. Yeah. Pop out a missile boy. So I would like to get some ships here just to protect these planets. It's kind of the thought here. Precious metals, 500 or, yeah, I'll take the money, please. Uh, 25 research, or people have the right to know the truth. Five gross income on all colonies. Uh, I'm gonna take the 25 research. Money's fine. Like I'm not in a huge need for money right now, so it's kind of like whatever. So yeah, just hit space to skip, Brian. I love all our frigates going right across. Okay, good. More research. We might be done here pretty quickly with the next research. Okay, so you're officially in where you need to be. Cannot build on the current object. Well, that's unfortunate. So go one. Did you go back the other way? W whatever, that's close enough. Okay, I need a military starbase here. And then, yeah, you're gonna grab every freaking thing we can get. Um, I don't know if the range helps. 
Yeah, I don't think the range does anything. Sensor range would be nice, for sure. But I don't think increasing the starbase range actually makes much of a difference. So how strong are you then, sir? Eh, eh. I mean, you're better than this dude, but not by a whole lot. Yeah, I mean, it's a starbase. See, can I go one? No, I think that has to be where it goes. Interesting. All right. Well, let's go ahead and pop out more. Countermeasure, Duranium, Perimeter Scanners, Sector Scanners. Then, once again, I think we just skip the sensor range because I just don't really care. So then you guys are basically here to defend the entrances. Cool. So the beginning of our invasion is complete. Then... Their fleets are everywhere. I'm gonna move you into the middle. This is our main attack fleet, right? Pretty sure? Earth fleet, no, 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 we don't actually want the Earth fleet. This was, it's this fleet, yeah, okay. So these guys probably just get ready to go ahead and launch. Do something like that and just get them moving towards the dragon sector. Now we brought them over here to go fight, but eh, eh. Missile boy is completed at Avalon Shipyard. Nice. Good. Good. We want as many as possible. Ship upgrades available. Okay. So what does that mean? Oh, that means one of my ship's leveled up. Yeah. Influence uh, and culture points. Held to the yes. So which ship upgraded? Parkerville. Nice. Go Parkerville. So how are you doing right now? Yeah, you're fine. Give you some HP, I think. Yeah. Yeah, just get some HP. Keep yourself alive a little bit longer just in case you ever get attacked. This is Onyx Prime. Not really much to build here. I kind of don't really want to pop out more. <laughs> uh, you know what? Actually, be really good right here. That one building, the one that gives us the, the mine, the research, and the production. I suppose. Actually, you know what would be better? Now that I say that, it'd be better to delete like this building. Wait, do I not have any unique improvements here? Oh. All right, well, never mind that. And then, you know what? Build me a shipyard as soon as you're done with this. Oh, I guess they maybe already built it? Manufacturing, military. Military manufacturing, level research, research. Yeah, where is it? Oh, it's this one right here. Uh, hold up. Hold up. Yo, okay, no. So we want to destroy this one because that one's kind of eh, who gives a crap. So instead... There it is. Okay, so you have to, like, get rid of the game real quick. There we go. So yeah, I want to build that there because that's going to have a little bit more of an effect. And then we can build the... Putting you here might be better, but I think I'm just going to do manufacturing district there and be done with it. So let's go... Eh. There. There. Then... What is this one? Ultra Terraformer. Build this one first. Okay. Good. Okay, that's going to queue things up for quite a bit of time, so we're good there. Uh, you can go ahead and skip... Camino is the shipyard that we were looking at that just built a missile boy. Okay, then you know what? Build me another missile boy. Build me another one, cause why not? Uh, is Batu? No. So let's go defend Batu. I don't really need it, but just in case. And how goes the flippage? One percent. So you guys got a ways to go. Good. So I'm hoping by conquering this guy over here. It's going to speed us up a little bit. I don't know what's going to happen to their shipyards. Will the shipyards disappear when we kill them? Will we, you know, just take over their shipyards? I mean, this is worth knowing, I suppose. Survey destroyers done. Agreements ended. I mean, as long as we're making money, I don't really care about any of our agreements. Which we are. We're not making a lot of money, but... We can see if anyone has any tech. I suppose. Dude, we're getting so much crap just from the research stuff. It's great. So you, um... We're going to go here. Yeah. And then just go ahead and level up everything. 
and you got a while before you'll actually hit the uh before you max out so that's good now hutta now hutta is becoming a pretty dang good planet for us lots of influence here mm-hmm lots of buildings we could build hmm hmm Population military is kind of like, eh. Population, population. A lot of extra population buildings, which is a bit weird. Hmm. Could ditch you and go for population instead, but... Hmm. What's your food here? Growth per month is 18. Spice market. Did we ever build a supply depot as extra manufacturing? I kind of forget about the supply depot because it's the wrong color. <laughs> yeah, so I always kind of miss it. Medical center gives us extra growth. Ooh. Yes, please. Yeah, I'm going to throw you here. Might as well. So you're going to get the bonus um, product population, but the growth is what I'm looking for. That is something that we probably should be building in every planet, and I don't think... We have been because I don't think I realized that was a thing until just now. Uh, pop out more heavy surveys because might as well. And then you go on auto survey, please. Thank you. Good. Uh, extra research or, you know, what? I'm going to take a little bit of money this time just because, you know, we took a little bit of a dive. We're only at like 46 right now per turn, which is not like the hundred something we're making at one point. But mm. hold up. We can sort. Oh. Oh, that's nice sort by defense sort by sensor range now nah, by logistics yeah I kind of like that sort by moves is also interesting here so first in tech second in military 12th in influence which is really weird yeah that's that's a little mind-blowing to me I, I'm I, really it clearly is not like the amount of territory you control yeah clearly it's not based on that because <laughs> what uh, what? So... I think we're just gonna kinda keep you here. I might actually drop you in San Antonio. I, like... I, I'm not gonna be able to chase down his fleets, I'm quickly realizing. So that's where I'm just like, alright, let's just kinda like stay in a central location. Now they might try taking Hoth back, but yeah, that's where I'm kinda like... Maybe I should be, like, right here, because that seems fairly respondable to, like, all the different directions. So we can go protect these planets, because it looks like he might try going and grabbing that stuff. Which, once again, it might be one of these things where I just take his planets, and then I go ahead and come back and take mine. Might end up being what we have to do. But, um, and you know what? I don't know if it actually makes a difference. Wrong button. Uh, let's go here and let's make sure that we have the defensive. Yeah. Growth, individual. We do like the growth. You know, I wonder if there's anything else here. Brainstorming, bureaucracy. Uh, it's only four, so it's probably not worth it. Uh, eugenics. Actually, uh, no, it lowers growth. Never mind. Hit points, fast. No, foreign dump. I wish there were, like, levels that we could see here. Wait, foreign dumping. Oh, so if you just want to tank your freaking diplomacy, you can do that. All right. Oh, genetic manipulation gives us growth, too. Actually, I almost kind of like that better than maybe some of the others. I mean, planetary stimulus seems really nice. That's been helping us a lot. I guess we get rid of unregulated research at this point. And I think we're going to go mandatory service again. Which is generally what ends up happening with us, right? We dump our... We dump our science into military. Which, eh. Protect the planet, no. Uh, extra um, defense on all our ships is interesting. But, no. Starship specifications. Lowers our manufacturing but gives all of our ships extra HP. That is kind of crazy good. Ooh. 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 I think I'm gonna take that. Like, giving all of our ships another 20% HP seems very wonderful. I want to unlock these last two. Oh, hey, guess what? We don't actually have universal healthcare. Dang it, Brian. <laughs> 
Uh, it's fine, okay? The fuck do you? Or what the heck do you think I am? Sorry. <laughs> what you, th you think we care about our citizens here? No. All right. Uh, this is our ship that's currently idling. Wait, are there two here? There are now. Good. Good. So let's move you down here. And you're a little ahead of that guy, which is fine. So when are we going? Probably when I get that fleet down there. Probably is the play. Uh, this is in New Austin. Give me some more defensive ships. So we'll just pop out a missile boy. Sure. I need a pew pew boy. As opposed to a missile boy. Small scavenger. We can get him more spices, money, or ideology. I, you, you give us money. I'll take some authority too because I literally don't have any. Um, I'm just going to take the 50. Hopefully you can finish the cultural civilization. I'm kind of hoping between the 100, we should actually be able to finish it this turn. Which was extra... Oh yeah, free culture point. Yeah. Which we already grabbed the manufacturing for the happy worlds. But there's another manufacturer one we can grab, right? I'm trying to remember what other culture ones we wanted. So we actually have two culture points incoming. Which is quite nice. I think we're done. I don't think that's like 99% done. I think it's actually done done. Uh, maybe. Maybe. Maybe not. Tourism. Forced overtime gives us extra stored goods. Hmm. Loyalty. Approval. Approval. Research. Give me the free research. So that finishes the tech for us. <laughs> nice. Uh, that gives us plus one move. Kind of like it. Yeah. Armor rating. We don't actually really have any armor. Those seem nice. I think, though, I'm going to go ahead and grab the extra plus free move. So all my ships are just going to be one extra move, which I kind of like. And then we have new control points. So we can now grab prestige. Eh. Uh, plus two starburst. No, no, I don't care about the range on the starburst. Uh, thousand influence. Interesting. The heritage project. Hmm. Additional policy slot would be nice. All star bases. Oh, here's the influence, man. Yeah, we've not done traditions at all. Hmm. Hmm. It's okay. 60 research. I love how it's like less than one turn of research here. Probably not what I'm looking for. Global research would probably be worth more. Uh, diplomacy. Lower the crime is kind of nice. Intimidation. I don't care about. Get extra growth and influence. I could live with that. Colony approval doesn't matter. Pop capacity, we're not at the pop cap. Get extra money. Don't hate that. Loyalty for leaders, eh. All leaders have the advocate trait? Hmm, interesting. I don't know what the advocate trait is. Diplomat, capital per turn, credits and trade, global, citizen, social. I don't know what that is. Unification gives us extra influence. Oh, don't we already have this one? No, we don't. Homeworld influence, homeworld manufacturing. Huh. I think that's just our home planet, right? Approval for our species and then others lose happiness. Eh, nah, probably not. We have flexible. We don't care about that. We have enticing. We cannot get either of these, which is unfortunate, but that's okay. Persuasion, free colony ship. Oh, yay. <laughs> no penalty for sharing borders with another civilization. Eh, ships heal faster. Eh, global farming. Eh, don't hate that. Ship move. Don't hate that. Three free constructors. Eh, probably too late. Logistics. 20% manufacturing. We already unlocked this one. Okay, so there's not really anything I want then. Now. Now. I mean, the global research is probably it then, right? I don't know what the heritage project is. Is that one of these? No, no. Is that one of the challenges? Doesn't say. So if it's a building, it really would be kind of bad for us to click it because we don't have room. Could also just lower crime across the board. I think I want to do that. Our crime's not in a bad spot anymore, I don't think, but... That might have just killed our crime. Our crime would have been at zero before that, to be honest. Uh... 
It doesn't look like we have any crime now. We, once again, maybe we're already at zero crime, but hey, I'm okay with that. Uh, ooh, hi. We have some pollution issues, specifically in New Austin. I don't want New Austin to have pollution, okay? So, farming. Oh, I need to pop that on our Earth planet here. Complete current research. Yeah, go ahead and pop that out. Nice. Free move on all our ships. Uh, tourism. Meh. Plasma pod. Meh. Better uh, uh, plasma ships. Eh. Another plus one move. Yeah, we'll grab the other plus one move then. Uh, so then pollution negative 20%. Yes. No, artifacts. Okay, now you're down to eight. I love how negative 20% when 22%, but I'm okay with that. So then on earth, I want to do the farming one. Please. So that give us a free tile. No. Yeah, no. I'm wondering if we were already at the tile cap, so we couldn't get another one. So that's what happened, which would not be completely shocking. Disappointing, but not shocking. Could build the fusion power plant there if we really wanted. Um. What are you guys? Pop. Hmm. 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 I mean, I need a housing district here, right? That's a plus four housing district. I, I feel like that would just be disappointing to not build that there. I do need to upgrade our agriculture. That's what I really wanted, though. I was really looking to get more agriculture, which agriculture here is only a two, which is kind of disappointing. Uh, do I have the spice market, the food building? I think I do, right? Yeah, there's the irrigation network. Hmm. So then, is food getting adjacency for, no, it's just for food. So we probably should go ahead and just terraform here then and get more food going. I think. I was also thinking about... Eh, you know what? I'm not going to do that one there. I'm going to do it here. Yeah, but then maybe this should be the production. I was thinking about doing the produ uh, the production research building. The fusion power plant over here. But, eh, maybe. I think it's fine. Uh, where's this? New Athens. We don't really need ships over here. We have 20 modules right now, which is kind of crazy. So then, in this case, let's just do research missions. Yeah, that'll have to work. Okay. Then, this is Onyx Prime, which is brand new. So I will go ahead and build a ship here. Um, Missile Boy's eight turns, that's fine. So we want a couple ships out, just because we don't have any production here. St Onyx Prime and Stone. <laughs> I love how their secondary plan is called Stone. Uh, that's great. So, the other thing we could be doing is looking at leaders right now, because there might be a leader that, like, rushes things out for us. Global crime. We could actually grab him now, because I think we're fine when it comes to global crime. Secrecy. Approval of loyalty. You kind of suck, by the way. Tourism when assigned as governor. What the heck? No, I don't want one of the bugs. I love how the bug dude increases tourism. Like, seriously? <laughs> no. Who wants to go to that planet? F that, dude. Seriously, oh no. Uh, what's production time here? Three turns. Yeah, give me the give me the financial ones then. And housing here then, because then that gives those both an adjacency boost. It's plus one to military doesn't really help me. Plus three to research, sure. And yeah, I guess we're just gonna knock a few of these out for now. It's not really a good play. We could, we should do that and this. We'll start with those. Just so we get a little extra production again by doing the supply depot. So, I mean, we're at 16 production, which keep in mind was like a lot for us for the longest time. Uh, ooh, wipe out or one deception. No, I'm just gonna wipe out the illegal market. 
I don't need your crap, dude. 30 research. Yeah, I'll take the 30 research. I don't really necessarily care about any of the ideologies. Although the one I was looking for was... This one? Yeah, we could use more individualism. Or it was... Tradition, that's the other one. Do we have like no tradition? Which I guess the influence there would be the only thing I really care about? Additional policy slot would also be nice. Yeah, maybe we should be doing tradition then. If given the opportunity, Brian, go for tradition. Okay, so I am gonna keep you about like right here. He's got quite a few fleets. He actually has a star base here, which is a little unfortunate, but I think I have enough missiles. I mean, I have 29 missiles, so I could probably destroy it. Knowing me though, it'll take about 50 turns, but we can always just engage it in uh, actual ship combat. It's not like the ship hurts even strong anymore. I love how they used to be so strong, and now it's like, oh, pff, they do three damage, please. They would probably kill one of my ships, though, just because I have, like, no armor. Uh, we are glad to help. You can have radioactive world. It's not like there's any tech worlds to settle. Well, at least near me. Boost the speed of all ships. Cast stone. Hell yeah, dude. Uh, this is where I need that rush tech, man. Hmm. 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 Can I shuffle my leaders yet? 40 months until available. Hmm. I guess we're just going to take the 21 turns. I don't know what the capstone's going to do. I'm hoping it's going to give us extra points here. No idea, though. No idea. So, Thebes, we probably don't need fighters over here. So, pop out the research mission, especially now since we got to get through, like, 50 turns of this. Um, because Thebes isn't near the front line. Uh, ideology or research? Yeah, give me the research. The boost. And I think we're just going to wrap this episode up here. So, I would be pretty, pretty, pretty strong assumption that the war will start next episode. Was my Yeah, I, I can't imagine it not, uh, doesn't. But, hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, drop a like, comment, let me know what you think. As always, hit the subscribe button, join the game, comment, share your support. Dude, these guys are still so freaking slow, man. What is their movement? 11. Ugh. Even with the boost, man, they're still kind of slow. Where's my fleet? My large fleet? Uh, we want to go by logistics? The other way. You guys are way up there, too. Ugh, you guys only have 11, too. I feel like the movement went down. <laughs> yeah, who? I thought, doesn't everyone here have like 14 moves? And you only have 12. You have 14. Yeah, you only have 11. Okay, all the ones I built have, like, no, no, no. They're all just defaulted with 11. Yeah, that's slower than I would like, but all right. Well, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye, everyone.